What's up guys, in the pool gaming here, and I need to check my audio. Alright guys, we good, so what's up, in the pool gaming here, and today, we're gonna try something new. We're not gonna be playing no games today. Today, we're gonna be watching some scary videos, lights off mode. You know how we doing it. Alright guys, so basically the inspiration from this came from a YouTuber that I watched called Cory Kenshin. So if you want to see more of the horror videos, like my video and subscribe. Also I'll put his channel in the description, you guys check him out as well. But this dude also, be sure to check out, he got some really cool stuff. But I tried to record a video like this yesterday, but I was too scared to upload it. So I recorded a uh, Try Not To Laugh Challenge, which I will probably scrap and never use because it wasn't that funny. I just wanted to record something and horror videos are not going to do it. But this guy makes some disturbing stuff. Like, let's just... I've seen some of them. Sorry to know what's going to happen. But... Yo, shut up, bro. But just to show you guys. This what do you do. Oh. Before... I want no PS5. What would you guys? Check these out. Yes, sir. How we look. Let me check my. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys like the glasses? Let me know. You know what? I already seen this. You guys have it. Let me, sh let me just skip to the good part. It is so creepy. I don't even want to. Y'all, I'm not trying to get jump scared again. <laughs> this guy is so creepy. So he can't feel his arms, can't feel his legs. Tell me about it, son. Give me some more facts. Tell me what you're feeling right now. How you feeling, bud? Feeling good? No, not feeling good. Yet he only feels pain. I'm sorry, bro. I think. I don't know if you want me to do something about that, or you just want to like solve it yourself, or like I can. There's something inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've already seen this. And it's so scary. Look at his face. Look at that beats. It's your heart. I swear to God. No, don't mute that. Look at him. No way he's not looking at me more and more. Look, he's about to... Yeah. This is what we're watching today. We're going to watch some of his videos. But we're going to watch one of the ones that I haven't seen. So hopefully you guys get to watch something funny while I freak out on the side. Alright, y'all. First video we're watching. Maybe the only video. If I get too afraid, I don't think I'll upload this again. But first video we got is called She Kaforant Slithreep M.MP4. Lost VHS tapes. Let's just drop a like on that real quick. Don't read the comments. Alright, let's just get right into it. Ah, uh, full screen, theater mode. Y'all, is it fine if I run this in theater mode? Let's just get this over with, man. I'm gonna be talking a lot. Y'all can't stop that. This is how I calm myself. Hold up. So first of all, they believe in her by herself. Over look what she look what she got on her wall right here. That thing creepy. Don't you dare leave her by herself. And second, you're not gonna sing her a lullaby. What a what a horrible father figure. I bet he can't sing. Uh, 
Sing or something. Oh, see, no, 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 <laughs> no, daddy. I don't want a toy that can sing forever because I won't be able to sleep if she keeps on singing. Just sing her the day lullaby. Oh my god, he about to make her a creepy. So what, he made it? I'm sorry for pausing, y'all. I gotta do Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So he made the doll. What is it, like, selling it or something? I mean, it's fine if we don't find out. Y'all don't have to show us. Hello there. General Kenobi. Look at those teeth. Y'all not hear me. I said, look at those teeth. Y'all better be in full screen with me right now. Put your headphones in, god dang it. Both of them. She bought a sing. Send me a song, darling. Don't scare the crap out of me, please. Look, I'm about to pause it the frame something happened. I I know I ah uh, I have nothing to say, bro. Just give it to me. Look at those eyes. I didn't pay for no eyes. I paid for a singing doll. She about to sing us a song. She about to turn this volume down more, bro. More. How long has it been? It's been, it's been nearly two minutes. I'm so, how long have I been recording for? I've been recording for 10 minutes. <laughs> Y'all, if you're a fan of listening to me talk, then you should be a fan of these videos because, oh my. Alright, so your boy pissed his shirt, big deal. Well, I got a new one on. Alright, so I think we're leaving the light on this time. The pit started going. I'm like, bro, chill. I should have put on some deodorant or something. Do you like the video? Are you subscribed? Have you hit the bell icon? No, you haven't. Oh, y'all hear those footsteps? And she was calling for her mommy and daddy, bro. And she got snatched up. What happened? Get me away from this camera or this monitor. I don't want to see nothing. I'm not listening. No, I'm talking. I'm talking. Bruh. Alright, so this video is by a channel called Horror Shorts Party. Yeah. Subscribe real quick. Skip the sponsors. I'm not here to promote nothing. That's your job. You're getting paid. Turn the volume up again. There we go. I've been holding on to this for a couple of years now, and feel like I need to get it off my chest. I had a few years Spill. to digest this, and now I'm ready to share my story with the world. Spill. I wish to remain anonymous, so for the sake of this story, my name will be Danny. Got you, Danny. Of this story remain vivid, but somewhat foggy. As I try to reminisce on the distant memories that occurred a couple of years ago. I, you want to tell us or something? It started when me and my parents oh, yeah. resided together. A in toilet? A townhouse, which was located Who throws a toilet in the street? Notorious for having a high crime rate. I never liked living there, and neither did my parents. But it was the only thing that we could afford at the time. My parents were a little rough around the edges, considering they had both been through a lot in their younger years. My dad has had a few run-ins with the law, while my mom lost both her parents at a very young age. What does the law say? Alright, so... Had a few 
run-ins with the law while my mom lost both her parents at a very young age. So that sucks. edgy at times didn't phase me at all. Well, I'm doing my best, all right? Can you do something else? What you're doing isn't working. I'd like to see you do better. Well, do better, damn it! Shut the hell up already. I'm tired of hearing you nag all day. <laughs> Almost every night, Clap there back. Was constant back and forth bickering that occurred for hours on end between my parents. They would always fight over what I assumed to be financial related issues, which had only gotten worse over the years. My parents both didn't really make much money in their respective jobs, so hearing them argue was almost a daily occurrence. I was always scared that things would turn violent, especially with the way these two went at it. I remember that kind of sucks. Night, I was in my bed trying to induce myself to sleep by watching a couple of YouTube videos on my cell phone. Dude, you're trying to induce sleep by watching. You're going to go on your phone to induce sleep. Ever heard of blue lights? Melatonin? Get some of these blue light goggles, boy. <laughs> <laughs> shouting match coming from the kitchen downstairs it honestly sounded like they were going to be in a physical altercation world star I pressed my ear against my bedroom door and could hear the distant bickering become more hostile between my parents i could make out my mom saying if you don't get a real job i'm thinking danny and we're moving out What? My mom opening the kitchen drawers, which led me to assume she was searching for something sharp and potentially do the unthinkable. That's when I decided to head downstairs and mediate the feud. The whole you wanna go in the middle of that? Yo, what does this have to- Ergo smart base from Tim. Okay, so I won't pause the thing. To snoring automatically. What does this guy do with Chuck E. Cheese? It's still some- there's still some left. I'll let it play out. I could see oh! Oh! Grip, the kind of grip that someone uses in preparation of stabbing someone. I can also see my dad holding one of the dining room chairs. Yeah, defend yourself. Was his defense mechanism. What are you doing here, Danny? Didn't I tell you never to leave your room unless you have to use the washroom? I'm sorry, Mom, but I heard you and- Go to your room, you little turd! Don't call him that! He likes me so much better, he- what you doing here? I didn't say leave your room! Get out of here, you little turd! Come on, man! Of course he likes daddy better. Bro code. Or something. Mom, please don't kill dad! I said go to your room, Danny! Leave Danny alone and put she a psycho. Him away, Helen. That's when my mom began piercing the family portrait of us. Except she was only piercing the portion with my dad's face. Mom, stop! She Please needs help. Stop it! She needs help. They about to send him the Chuck E. Cheese or something. A couple weeks after the whole saga had occurred. Saga. What this an anime? Divorce, which unfortunately left me to reside with my mother. Oh my! The court unfortunately ruled that my mom would be in favor of getting custody of me due to my dad's criminal history with the law. Honestly contemplated on running away. He should have got a video of what just happened. Especially with how toxic and controlling her behavior was. Yeah, she sounds like an awful person. I spent most of my time locked in my bedroom, sulking on why I couldn't live a normal life like the rest of the younger individuals in my neighborhood. Why the hell do I have to live with mom? Why couldn't I just live with dad? He was always the better parent. Oh, what made this even worse? Got some mouth. Oh, he wish he would. Got some mouse. I didn't even have time to join any after school clubs or sports teams due to the simple fact that I was too worried about not making it home on time. I yeah, because next thing you know, for several hours due to the fact that I was what? five minutes past my curfew. That sounds very contradictory to what she's trying to do. If she wants you back. Doesn't she want to protect you from, like, whatever's going on at night? So if she's gonna say, you missed your curfew, I'm locking you out of the house. What's... 
What? What's the reasoning? What's the motive? Why are you gonna do that? Like, I mean, at least you got time now. Go like ball with your friends or something. That's what I would do. You know. Thing I found even more totally. Aggravating was how my mom permanently banned me from going to the local Chuck E. Cheese restaurant located down the street. <laughs> mom, I'm not playing anymore, Mom. You take the Chuck E. Cheese privileges away. It's over for you. With Amazon get this out, out of here. It's this easy to get your medication. Sign up today on it. Don't take my Chuck. Oh my God. But don't take my Chuck E. Cheese privileges away. For those that aren't familiar with Chuck E. Cheese, it's a restaurant that has arcade games and playrooms for younger crowds such as myself. I enjoy it. Yep. As it would bring back fond memories of when me and my dad used to go. I usually went to Chuck That sucks. The time it was my birthday, just as a tradition my dad established when we all used to live together. But all of that is gone now. And then mom said, it took my entire childhood away from me, which I find equivalent to ripping my heart out of my chest. Oh, dude. She selfishly didn't want me going because she didn't want me to be reminded of my dad's existence. She is so petty. To abide by really made it difficult to make any friends, which put me in a dark state of mind for the latter part of my life. There was one night where I she's treating you like a slave. She's like Hitler. Her to bring me to Chuck E. Cheese for my upcoming birthday. I honestly cared more about Chuck E. Cheese than my actual birthday itself. Which is why I ended up using it as an excuse to go there. I thought she was gonna say, I care more about Chuck E. Cheese than I care about mom. Go to Chuck E. Cheese for my. No, Daddy, I already told you this. But it's for my birthday. No, 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 no. I anticipated the rebuttal my mom no, 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 no. But that didn't stop me from being persistent with my request. After a few tears and relentless pleading, my mom. Hey, yo! That's who I was telling you about. I wonder if he's seen this. He got himself a shout out. Agreed to take me there on my birthday. The exhilaration of going to Chuck E. Cheese after all these months was honestly something I would compare to an inmate getting released from jail. I felt so excited to the point where I didn't even care. Wait, about hold up. That's that's creepy. What are you doing, bro? Wait, so mom eventually caved in and agreed to take me there on my birthday. Oh, she agreed. Me so excited. Look at this man. That I once grew to love. I mean, good for you, but calm down, bro. And it was time for me to finally visit Chuck E. Cheese once again. It was about the evening time, so the venue was usually packed to full capacity. Look at his eyes. Marvel at what was in front of me, as I genuinely felt I was a kid. Yo, I would. That's I love Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I must be that was so high. I immediately started playing the arcade games while my mom wandered off to grab some food. Lettuce foot foot lettuce? Oh. But at the same time, so infatuated with every arcade game. Come on, guys. When was this made? Guys. Horror shorts. It's 2020. Not 2018. Looks like a casino. A little alarmed that the mascot would approach me, considering there were hundreds of guests in attendance. Uh, hey, Chucky. The mascot didn't say anything. He just stood there staring at me with his big, elongated eyes. Okay. Why mascots gotta be so creepy? I know he's probably like a killer or a perv or something, but like, say something. Get like a voice box and don't touch me. Then I go. Head off my shoulder. I don't want none of you on me. On his costume, which I assumed to be pizza stains. But then I noticed the stains had transferred onto the shoulder area of my shirt from the tap. He Bro. I now knew that these were definitely not pizza stains. Blood. Be blood stains. Of some blood sort. stains.
Take my hand, Jamie. I missed you, Dad. I miss you too, son. <laughs> what an ending! Oh, uh, soon as she asked, it's not she. Soon as he asked, is she gone? I was like, that's his father, and he's like, yes, yeah, she's gone. Oh my god! All right, guys, and unfortunately, that's where I'm gonna end it right now. That was those were pretty good videos. I didn't like the first one that much, <laughs> from what I've seen of it. God dang, bro! I, I'll come back with some chagrin. I'll come back with a with a purpose, with moral. But for me to do that, y'all gotta hit that like button. Gotta give me my motivation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Terraria? I'm thinking Terraria. I have one in the archives. Uh, second Terraria video. You see this right here? Hit this bell icon, and then hit all. So then when you watch my videos, you know what I'm gonna upload. See y'all in the next one. Later.